Welcome back to my channel. My name is Avon, and I thought it would be a great idea if I could just go dwell back to my childhood, and that is to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, before Bleach and Naruto was really a thing, I didn't really get into anime until Yu-Gi-Oh started coming came on. Yu-Gi-Oh was basically my childhood. Now, everyone else would say even more classic animes like Sailor Moon or again Naruto, Bleach, or even back as to Inuyasha. But me, mine was Yu-Gi-Oh. So I thought I had this game. Why don't I just play it for you guys? And we're just gonna skip tutorial lessons. So we're not gonna do the very first one when Yugi met um, Joey and um, Tristan and thus learning dual monsters for the first time. We're just gonna um, jump into the next duel where we first met Saito Kaiba. He ripped up um, um, Yugi's grandfather's blue eyes white dragon and thus only have two blue eyes white dragons. I was gonna plan, I was planning to use a Seagram deck that was provided, but no, I'm just gonna stick with this um, deck because if we use this card, we can basically draw out, as long as it's a normal card that is, we can pretty much just draw as much cards as we want, thus either gain the cards that we want to beat them, or gain all the pieces of Exodia the Forbidden One. And you know what, now that that question is in my mind, I want to know what your guys' first anime or first TV show... No, 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 that's too cliche. Let's do first anime. What is your first anime? I want to know. Let me know in the comment section below. Because mine was Yu-Gi-Oh! And speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh! I only liked the first three Yu-Gi-Ohs. After 5D, Zexel and Arc 5 didn't really tickle my fancy. Specifically because I think... When, the first, when Zexo first came out, I thought that, yeah, well, to be fair, yes, I'm aware it's a children's TV show, but to me, when you th think about the first Yu-Gi-Oh, you had so many interesting characters and villains to the point it was just like, oh, this is really good, and specifically the villains is what really threw my mind at ease. When you first saw Merrick and Bakura and all those classic villains, I was really fascinated with them versus what you have in um, Zexo and Arc 5. They don't really look as menacing or threatening to me as what you had in the first three Yu-Gi-Oh's. The first three Yu-Gi-Oh's, their villains were just like, oh, they actually look like a villain. They actually look threatening versus Arc 5 and Zexo. It looked like, oh, they really don't look that tough at all. I don't see why I should be scared of them. At least that's what's on um, what's on my case. Everyone would say differently, but that's what that that was what's up with me. I didn't really care for the for the story or the characters later on in the other series. But as far as Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains go, I actually haven't seen that yet. I need to go see that for myself. So I, I, my opinion on that is pretty much unbiased unless I see it for myself. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we got too many cards in our hand. But thanks to that spell card, we pretty much got all the cards. I got pretty much all the cards that I want. So we won Exodia, obviously. But we're just going to get rid of this one just because we got too many cards in our hand. And if he does what I think he does, if I can pretty much just stay ahead of him and make sure he doesn't summon blue eyes, we'll be just, we'll be peachy. Um, destroying a monster. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I do need a monster to deflect damage. Uh, it doesn't matter. We can always take those life points away from him. So we're going to destroy that. Oh, wait. We turned that monster to that. Oh, okay. Okay, now I see the big fuck up. If I destroy that card, my summon skull goes back to my hand. Okay. Well, at least it's not destroyed, so all I gotta do is summon him back up eventually. And like I said, I got two Heart of the Underdog spell cards, so as long as I drew the cards I won, this duel should be mine. And that's not a normal monster, but at least I got two pieces, I just need three more. We'll s I'll f have him face down. I was planning to use Dark Hole, but... We'll save that for an absolute emergency. Like, if he summons Blue Eyes White Dragon, then I'll use that spell card. But for now, I think we're good. Yes. And yes, we'll use both Heart of the Underdog so we can draw two cards. 
Yes, yes. Okay, we got three. We need two more pieces. Oh, even better. Three harder day on the dogs. Now we definitely got this. And you know what? Just out of... Just to be safe and sorry, I'll summon Summon Skull. I'll keep the dark hole for myself in case shit hits the fan real quick. And that's it. I can pretty much just get rid of all the cards that's not Exodia and we'll be just fine. Dark Magician, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna let you go. That's only because I got everything I really need anyway. Okay, that's good, but uh, not what I want. Is this card is sent to the graveyard? We'll just summon him out of pure curiosity. Plus, he can take da take down that face up card, and then take care of that. And then he has no way of defending himself unless he summons blue eyes. But I highly doubt he has the cards to do that right now. Swords of Revealing Lights, that's not really necessary, but safe and sorry. Hmm, and we'll just summon him out of pure comedy. Oh, even better. So either I win by by combat or by drawing Exodia, but I really want to draw Exodia, so I'm just gonna stall the duel for as long as possible. Yes. One, two, and now I'll draw three cards. And if there are normal monsters, that's even better. Draw three cards and then discard two cards, or so don't mind if I do. And we're gonna get rid of this. Sorry, Karibo, love you, but you gotta go. One, two, three, four. So now I just need one more, and this duel is mine. But I really wanna draw Exodia, so I'm just gonna stall this duel. And I know it's mine, I just gotta hold on a little longer. Um, just out of sheer curiosity. You know what? Fuck it. I'll just use Dark Hole. Yeah, I know that destroyed my best monsters, but honestly, I already got one more card left and this duel is mine, so... Wait a minute, wait a minute. What was this, this ability? If this card is sent to the field to the graveyard, I'll add one monster with to my dead to my hand, but you cannot activate cards or their effect or cards with the name of the rest of the turn. Okay, I think okay, if that just to be safe, I'm not gonna draw the leg, because I think what that card means is even if I have that card, I won't be able to use this ability. At least that's what I think that's what it means. But that's okay. Nine cards left and we're and we're almost Done anyway, so this duel is mine. Gotta, gotta get rid of that. So it's a reveal light is gone, but no worries. And plus, we got another one, so. Oh, whoop de doo. Summon Torreg, end of turn. I mean, you can pretty much do what you want, but, uh, this duel is mine. And even if you did summon him, you can't attack with my, with my sword through revealing light on the field. Monster Reborn, just out of fun curiosity. I'll bring back Summon Skull. No, even better, Dark Magician.
And just because I want to see his animation, we'll attack. We'll attack his judge man. And that's gonna be the end of my turn. Seven cards left, so there's gotta be it's gotta be in there. Destroy all monster your opponent controls. Sure, why not? And then I'll summon a horn imp for entertainment, but I'll end my turn. And that does it. Yes, I am aware I could have just destroyed Kaiba with a few cards I had in my hand and on my field, but I wanted to do it just like the anime and use Exodia, so deal with it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. I will continue through the rest of the story arc of this series, so if you wanna see more, just stay tuned. As always, the link of the previous video will be in the link of the description below. The link of my social media will be in the link of the description below. My name is Avon, and I will catch you guys later.